Well, the exhaustive search on Birmingham's west side left that community at a standstill today. Yeah, people all waiting to see if the three year old would finally be coming home. WVTM 13's Mary O'Connell was there for all of it as police turned the community upside down. An hours long search for Camille Cupcake McKinney through the afternoon. The three year old has been missing since Saturday and a tip led Birmingham police here. We received information that we thought was credible for this particular location on the location of Camille. Police taped off this entire area off Jefferson Avenue, searching cars and all units in this apartment complex. A sheriff's office helicopter took the search sky high. McKinney's family was also on scene. This as dozens of people from the community watch and waited. At one point in the search, many thought the child was rescued only to be left heartbroken with news they didn't hope to hear. We did hear the crowd cheer. There was some misinformation because there was another young lady at that complex that was approximately the same size of the young lady, but that was not her. Police say the tip today did not turn up information that could help the investigation, but they stress that hasn't stopped their efforts. We're asking that everybody please keep the information coming, keep it flowing, don't give up on her. We haven't given up on her and we're going to locate her. To bring McKinney home. In Birmingham, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13. As we just told you, police have not found Camille. And WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff reports while that search came up empty, neighbors remain filled with hope tonight. As officers, deputies, a SWAT team and rescue units converged on the Marland apartments, Natalie Boyer, who lives nearby, learned Camille McKinney hadn't been found. I'm not giving up. I'm still praying for her. I've been praying for her ever since this happened because I have grandchildren. I have a three-year-old granddaughter. Neighbors who have never met are suddenly united by the abduction of a child they hope to see reunited with family. I mean, sad. We've been praying. I mean, all our hearts go out, you know, to this baby. You know what I'm saying? She didn't deserve this. Thank you, Lord. For a time, cautious optimism seemed to fill Jefferson Avenue. This, many believed, was the time and the place. Camille would soon be home. In this neighborhood, there was so much hope. Many people gathered thinking, indeed, they found little cupcake. But after three hours, it was revealed those hopes were dashed. I'm heated because all this police work for nothing. Indeed, a search of Devin Grady's apartment complex may have yielded no results today, but neighbors are fervently hoping Camille McKinney has many happy tomorrows. She's just a child. She don't deserve this. Let her live her life. In West Birmingham, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.